on 24th March, Aussie players were caught red-handed tampering with the ball at the Cape Town Test against South Africa. What really shocked the cricket world was the extent of planning that went behind it. This premeditated cheating was obviously fueled by the obsession to win. In the world we live in, this obsession to win is turning into an epidemic and the consequences are manifold. If you go to a large bookstore and visit the self-help section, you'll find one kind of books that say, you can do it, you can make it, anything is possible. And alongside, you'll find books of the second kind that tell how to deal with low self-esteem, how to stop feeling bad about oneself. There is a real correlation between the two. In a society which tells you that you have to win at all times under all circumstances, you will obviously have people having serious difficulty coping with inevitable failures. And very soon, we may need books of the third kind that say, cheating is bad, you will be punished for cheating, books on basic morality. Because when you have a society obsessed about winning, you will find a lot of people turning to malpractice to make it happen. So please, let's understand that there is more to life than just winning or losing. Let's make life a learning experience. The lessons to be learned from success and failure are equally important. More often than not, failure and sorrow are bigger teachers than success and happiness. So, let's cultivate the habit of really trying our very best and then living the rest. Karmanye vadhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalahe turbhur ma te sangostva karmani